You're listening to a Hindustan Times podcast brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. A horrific train crash near Balasore district in Odisha on Friday evening involving two packed express trains marked what could be the worst accident suffered by the public transporter in nearly a decade with their toll reaching 233 while over 300 have been rushed to hospitals. Officials said 15 coaches of the Chennai bound Coromandel Express derailed near Behnaga Bazaar station in Balasore district around 6:55 p.m. on Friday with several of them falling on the adjoining track. Around 5 minutes later, the Havra bound Bangalore Havra super fast express coming from the other direction rammed into the derailed compartments. A goods train was also involved in the crash, officials said. The Odisha government pressed hundreds of rescuers and doctors into action even as railway officials rushed to the site. As evening fell, disaster relief personnel were seen cutting into heaps of mangled metal to rescue passengers trapped under broken seats and crushed coaches. Bhanaga Bazaar railway station is about 180 kilometers from Bhuvneshwar. Distressed by the train accident in Odisha, In this hour of grief, my thoughts are with the bereaved families. May the injured recover soon. Spoke to the railway minister and took stock of the situation. Rescue OPS are underway at the site of the mishap and all possible assistance is being given to those affected, tweeted Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Madgaon C SMT Vande Bharat Express train, which was to be flagged off on Saturday, has been cancelled. owing to the collision between Coromandel Express and a freight train in Odisha's Balasore district on Friday there is no fixed date on when the fourth vande bharat train will be scheduled to run the indian railways was all gung ho about the flag off ceremony and had planned it with much fanfare on friday union railway minister ashwini vaishnav claimed that all states would be covered by vande bharat trains The grand flag of ceremony of Vande Bharat Express train of Goa Mumbai has been cancelled for now. There is no clarity on whether there will be another flag of ceremony of this train or it will depart without fanfare from Madgaon and even the schedule of this train will be followed or not said a senior official from the railway ministry. On Saturday there was a grand function planned with departure planned at 10:45 am after flag off by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Speeches from Goa Chief Minister Pramod Sawant and Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav was also planned along with showcasing of how this route would have benefited people travelling on Mumbai Goa route. On Friday, the railways carried out last moment trial runs and inspect the mechanical and electrical workings of this train at Madgaon station. This was the first eight car Vande Bharat train that was supposed to run 6 days a week with halts at CSMT Dadar Thane Panvel Khed Ratnagiri Kankavli Thivim and Madgaon stations in 7 hours and 50 minutes A Mahapanchayat of Khaps or clan based groups from Uttar Pradesh Haryana Punjab Rajasthan Uttarakhand and Delhi on Friday demanded the arrest of former Wrestling Federation of India WFI Chief Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh over charges of intimidation and sexual harassment and threatened to march to the capital if their demand was not met by 9th June. In the Mahapanchayat that took place in Haryana's Kurukshetra and lasted for about 5 and a half hours, representatives of over 170 khaps also sought dropping of all charges against the protesting wrestlers and threatened to take them to Jantar Mantar in Delhi if the government did not act on the demands. On 28th May, Delhi police had cleared the site of the wrestlers sitting at Jantar Mantar and detained them after a scuffle with security personnel who tried to stop them from marching to the new parliament building as it was being inaugurated. The protesting wrestlers were subsequently booked under various provisions of the Indian Penal Code and Prevention of Damage to Public Property Act. The central government has time till 9th June. We will not compromise on anything less than the arrest of Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. If this does not happen, we will go to Jantar Mantar on 9th June and hold panchayats across the nation, 
भारतीय किसान यूनियन बी के यू स्पोक्स पर्सन राकेश टिकैत सिंह द केस इज अगेंस्ट द रेस्लर्स शुड बी विद्रॉन एंड द अरेस्ट ऑफ सिंह मस्ट हैपन ही एडेड फ्राइडेज मीटिंग वॉज द सेकेंड सच महापंचायत इन टू डेज ऑन वेंसडे A similar meeting was held in Mujaffarnagar where the Khaps decided to send a delegation to President Draupadi Murmu and apprise her of the wrestlers demands. None of the protesting wrestlers were part of the two mahapanchayats. Mob stole deadly weapons including high grade ammunition, AK47s, sniper rifles and mortar shells in bulk from various armories and police stations during the violence that rocked Manipur over the past month. An official assessment by the state police headquarters has revealed even as local residents started returning their arms a day after union home minister Amit Shah issued an appeal. An official in the Manipur government said that the assessment showed that at least 500,000 bullets including mortars and 3,500 guns were stolen since violence first broke out on 3 May. The mobs this official added took many 2 inch and 51 inch mortars along with over 100 sophisticated sniper rifles 500000 ammunition is a big number the priority is to recover the ammunition these could be used against the security forces in case of shootouts said the official cited above highlighting that the theft of such a large quantity of ammunition in a border state where there are several militant groups is alarming Shah Sapil came on the last leg of his 4-day visit to Manipur on Thursday when he urged everyone to surrender their weapons to the security forces and administration. He also warned that a search and combing operation would be carried out in the state soon and anyone found to possess any weapon would be prosecuted. In an honor that has been bestowed only on Winston Churchill, Nelson Mandela, and to Israeli prime ministers The US congressional leadership has invited Prime Minister Narendra Modi to address a joint meeting of the Senate and the House of Representatives for the second time on 22nd June during his state visit to Washington DC. On Friday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries wrote to the PM stating that on behalf of the bipartisan leadership that it was their honor to invite him to address the US Congress based on our shared values and commitment to global peace and prosperity the partnership between our two countries continues to grow during your address you will have the opportunity to share your vision for india's future and speak to the global challenges our countries both face the leader said to modi suggesting that Modi's historic address to the US Congress in 2016 had left a lasting impact and greatly deepened the friendship between the two countries the congressional leaders reminded Modi he had spoken about how the relationship was primed for a momentous future the constraints of the past were behind them and the foundations of the future were firmly in place we look forward to paving the way for greater collaboration between our countries in the future Shuma Makati McConnell and Jeffries wrote You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap a beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast please give us feedback on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts@hindustantimes.com until next time To stay updated on this podcast, follow us at HD Smartcast on all the major social media platforms. To listen to more such podcasts, log on to www.hdsmartcast.com.